wonder why Dinky called this press conference. All he told me is that he has an important announcement to make. Tom and Lucy wouldn't say a word about it either. Now this had better be good with all these reporters here. I think they're getting restless, Dinky. Don't worry, Tom. I'm just letting them get excited. Let's go already. What's this all about? We don't have all day. I think they're excited enough, Dinky. Very good. Pull the curtain. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, I've called you here to make a great announcement. I have the pleasure to announce the incredible, fantastic, amazing birth of... Twins! Right! Uh, hey, no! Twins, you big boys! Twins? The first little twins ever born! Twins? A medical first! But wait! What are we waiting for? Let's go! Wait, don't go! You haven't seen... Pinky, uh, uh, uh. how did you know about the twins before anyone else? I'm impressed. But, but Grandpa... It's rare enough that you earn a compliment, Dinky. Don't blow it. Come on, kids, let's go. I'm so excited. What about me? Hey, wait. Come on, Dinky. I'm not going. We'll make your announcement later, Dinky. Let's go see the twins now. Twins? Twins? <laughs> Big deal. We should get Jenny Little a present for her twins, Frank. Oh, how proud she must be. We'll get her a present too, Tom. I was about to suggest that myself. What's that? Where, where's... Dinky in a gas propelled car. Move over, twins. Dinky's here. Dinky! Dinky! The car is out of control! Are you all right? Like Lucy said, I'm wonderful. Test driving my car, huh? What do you think of my great invention? Your great invention almost ran over Tom and Lucy, Motormouth. But Grandpa, this is a wonderful car. It'll revolutionize the... You must have gasoline on the brain. Just sit in it, Grandpa. You'll see for yourself. I've seen enough for today. But Grandpa... You better take your great invention and play somewhere else. They're the most precious things you ever saw, Henry. Sounds like these twins are becoming celebrities. I'll say. I want to come up with an extra special gift. It can be from the three of us. What kind of extra special gift? I'm not sure. I'll know when I see it. No, those are too ordinary. It has to be something unique. Like what? Something like that. Wow! It's exactly what I've been looking for. 
I must say, you've got excellent taste. Shall I wrap it up for you? Uh, oh, there's a problem. The bed is too big. Too big? Yes. My sister's dolls are smaller than this. Can you get me one about half the size of this? Well, yes, I suppose I could make you one about half the size. Uh, I can work on it tonight, and you can pick it up in the morning. Great! This will be a wonderful surprise for my little sister. Little sister, eh? My surveillance of Henry Big has paid off. You have no little sister, Henry, but maybe some little friends. Twins, twins, twins. That's all I ever hear about. They're big news, Dinky. My car is news, too. But I need to do something special to make people take notice of me. Hey, you could do a stunt show. Uh, I'm not trying to be entertaining. A stunt show, huh? They'll have to notice me and my car then. I'll be the center of attention. I know. I'll stage the show right in front of the twins' house. Dinky, will you help us deliver the brass bed tomorrow? What brass bed? Henry's having one made especially for the twins. It'll be the center of attention. Hey, wait. My stunt show is supposed to be the center of attention. What stunt show? The greatest stunt show with the greatest pilot in the greatest car. I'm afraid you might have to share the limelight, Dinky. So long. I don't like this, Dr. Hunter. This isn't the kind of work that can be done during business hours. For his sister. But the bed doesn't prove anything, even if Henry doesn't have a sister. The bed is going to get us the proof we need. The bed and this. What is it? A tiny homing device. Then we'll be able to track the bed. Exactly. We'll be able to find whoever Henry Big gives this bed to. Find and capture. It's magnificent, Henry. This bed will be the talk of the town. It looks more like a throne than a bed. I had the toy maker put it on rollers so it'll be easier for you to get it there. Slick will help us pull, won't you, boy? Oh, yeah. It's Mom! Hide! Henry, I'm leaving for a lecture at the college. Why don't you go out and play? All right, Mom. See you later. Bye, Henry. With this bed out of the way, they'll have to pay attention to me. All clear. It's safe now. Oh, that was close. The bed. It's gone. Who would take the bed, Grandpa? I don't know. But we're going to get to the bottom of this. See you later, Henry. We've been waiting for hours, Dr. Hunter, and that thing hasn't moved. Yes, it still hasn't moved. The bed is still in his house. Maybe, maybe you were wrong? I know I'm right. All we need is patience, Peterson. He'll give that bed to them, and then you'll see that red dot start to move. I hope so. Come one, come all! Witness the thrills and chills of the greatest stunt show in history! Stunt show? That's right, my friend! The new Dinky Mobile is about to go through its paces in a demonstration of automotive daring that will dazzle and delight! I don't know where else to look. This is one of the most baffling mysteries in the long history of the Littles. There's Dinky. He'll help us look after the stunt show. What stunt show? Dinky's going to do some tricks with his car. Last night he was worried the bed would take attention away from him. I guess he doesn't have to worry now. No, I guess Dinky doesn't have to worry now. Hmm. Yes, check, okay. Everything in place, Lucy? Ready, Dinky. 
Then it's off into the pages of Little's history for me, Tom. Just drive carefully, Dinky. Stand back there. Clear the area. The show is about to begin. Fly near a flame? Pinky, stop! It's too dangerous! Time to put her down. I think they're impressed enough. Explode any second! Dinky! Dinky! Dinky, can you hear me? I'm trapped, Grandpa! I can't get free! Get me out of here! Tom, Lucy, get these people back! Please, get back! Give us some room to work! It's dangerous here! The car could explode! Explode? With me under it? Get me out of here, Grandpa! It's too heavy to lift! The fire department's on the way! Not enough time, Lucy! If we can only lift it more than a little! Maybe a little's enough! Lucy, get Slick over here, quick! Okay, Tom! I'll never drive a car again! I'll never brag again! Please! Just let me get out of here! When Grandpa and I left, you went Slick under the car, Lucy! It might be enough to pull Diggy out! It could work! It has to work! Hurry! It's going to explode! for those little creatures, Peterson. There's no other answer. I just don't understand what's taking him so long. We know he doesn't have a sister. It's the only explanation. If... Wake up, Peterson. Mm -hmm. Stay alert here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Right, Dr. Hunter. No one cares about me, Slick. All they care about is the twins. For all they care, I could have been French fried in that wreck. If no one cares about you, then why in Blazer did we all risk our lives saving you? What have you got there, Grandpa? A present for me? This is a present for the twins, Dinky, and I don't need it coated with oil. It was supposed to be a brass bed, but the bed is missing. Oh, is that right? You wouldn't know anything about the missing bed, would you? You know, I stayed up all night working on my car, Grandpa. Grandpa, let me drive you to the twins' house. 
No way. I'll walk. Come on, you'll love it. Once you ride in my car, you'll never walk again. Right. I'll be in a wheelchair from then on. That missing bed is a shame of all the littles. But Grandpa, wait. Why are you telling me that? The person who took the bed better bring it back if he wants to be forgiven. But Grandpa! Slick old friend. I'm afraid Grandpa's right. We'll return the bed. Dr. Hunter, it's moving. The homing device is moving. I knew it. It was only a matter of time. Give me the coordinates, Peterson. We'll follow it in the trailer till we can make our move. The car's engine is too loud. From here on out, we'll have to depend on sheer muscle. Onward, Slick! Mush, you husky! Blaze a trail across this arctic wasteland! <laughs> Uh-oh, I recognize that trailer. It's Dr. Hunter. He looks like he's on the prowl. Better go to Orange Alert. You got it. Attention, attention, this is an Orange Alert. Dr. Hunter's trailer is in Zone A. All units on Orange Alert. This is not a drill. Repeat, not a drill. It seems to be stopping right here, Dr. Hunter. We're directly over the homing device. And now, my furry friend, it's time for you to earn your keep. Go get them! Red alert! Red alert! Barrett in the tubes! Alert all civil defense directors! Evacuate tube area surrounding Sector 5! Outpost 5. Dinky Little spotted in the sector. The Barrett's closing in on him. Dinky? What on earth is he doing outside so late? We'll go with you, Grandpa. Yeah! There's Dinky's car, Grandpa. Why was he out this late? All that matters is getting to him before that Barrett does. Now you kids run and tell Henry about Hunter. I'll get the car. I wish Dinky were here. What am I saying? I didn't realize I was so hungry. That's not me. Slick, is that you? That's not you either. Slick? I, I, think I recognize that growl. It's the... The monster! He wants to eat us, Slick! Putting me down. We've had it, Grandpa. We're gonna end up as ferret food. Goodbye, Dinky. Oh no! Don't say that, Grandpa. It's all my fault. Please, Grandpa, forgive me for the bed. Please forgive me. Peterson. And what's going on here? You're just in time, officer. I can use your assistance. You can witness the capture. 
That's it, huh? You want me to witness the capture of a turtle? But... You put that manhole lid back on before I run you in for tampering with city property. But this is... My turtle! I see you found him! You... You're behind this! What do you mean? I wouldn't call the police about a missing turtle. But I'm grateful you found him and my toy brass bed. The civil defense saved us! After this stunt, you need more than just a net, Dinky. You need a straitjacket. I feel responsible for this. I let my jealousy get the best of me. You should know we all love you. Even after what I did? Even after what you did. You know how to test a person's love, Dinky. I'll give you that. It looks beautiful, even with the mud on it. I wish I had a part in giving it to the twins. Oh, you will, Dinky. You will. What's this for, Grandpa? So you'll have something to polish the bed with. I figure you should have it shining bright by morning. <laughs> wow, this is a great little idea for big people that explains how to make a Littles TV. Hey, that'll be fun! How do we do it? First, we cut a piece of construction paper into a square that is four inches on each side. Ta-da! Gee, Dinky, what took you so long? <laughs> now we cut two slits in the square like this. Now, Lucy, you cut a strip of paper about one foot long and one and a half inches wide. All we have to do now is draw a picture story on the strip and run it through the paper square. Ooh, let me do that! Presenting the Dinky TV Show. Hey, Dinky, can we change the channel? <laughs>